Welcome everybody to how fast will it go and today we're dealing with a 2010 Rosion Q1 now this has 1356 horsepower 1021 pounds feet of torque from a 7.5 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine and the car itself now weighs 2400 pounds it now has all wheel drive and it can do not 60 in 1.914 seconds and 0 to 103.978 seconds so I've recently reviewed this and uh, in its stock form, I was mightily impressed by its agility and its handling and its overall lack of weight. Three things which really do come in handy on this series. So, with all of this extra power, uh, as it only had 450 horsepower originally, all that extra torque, as it only had 390 pounds feet of torque originally, coupled with all wheel drive, means that this should be one of the quickest cars we've had on this series so far. So, uh, yeah, let's get out there and see what it can do. It's got really good power weight to ratio considering it's got nearly 1400 horsepower and only weighs 2400 pounds. As you can see, that's already having a dramatic effect as we're up to 250 miles an hour. Before we even get to the second tunnel, we're at 268. And coming out of the tunnel, we're doing 276. Can we get any more than that? I think we're close to the rev limit there but as you can see this car is really good at handling so it's able to get around these corners at a really rather good amount of speed not that one because obviously uh, no car's really gone quick around that corner because it is incredibly sharp but the previous one before that it was still doing more than 270 mile an hour which just shows how good this car is in terms of handling especially now that it has had some upgrades obviously the tyres are wider front and rear it's got racing slicks and uh, it's lighter and obviously an all wheel drive but yeah 276 is what we've gotten so far so let's see if we can get any more than that around the other side Getting a bit overzealous there with the drifting right even though we've only uh, even 276 mile an hour on the first side is uh, still our third quickest, I think. So, yeah, this is already uh, well into the top 10. So, we could be struggling to get any higher than 274 on this side of the uh, motorway so far. But even so, as you can see, the acceleration on this set. Uh, above 260 is still really really rather good. We're holding 272 up this uphill section as well which not many cars can uh, hold a uh, high rate of speed like that up that uphill section so again just shows how much the uh, power and the torque is not going to waste on this lightweight body. But yeah 276 is our final top speed there which like I said is well within our top 10 of this uh, series it's in fact yeah like I said number three on our leaderboard one mile an hour ahead of the McLaren F1 GT which we only recently took out uh, three mile an hour ahead of the Lamborghini Aventador McLaren P1 Porsche 906 Porsche 917 LH and the Porsche 911 Carrera S and far ahead of the Cohen's Egg CCAS and the Cohen's Egg Aguera Still, the McLaren F1 is in second place at 281 mile an hour, and the Jaguar D-Type still reigns supreme at 285. But still, considering this car is far heavier than the Jaguar D-Type, and uh, yeah, isn't quite as old, so the gearing is going to be a little bit less on its side. It is still incredibly quick, and uh, yeah, easily one of the uh, best handling cars we've had on this series. It, it does certainly rival the likes of the McLaren F1 GT in terms of handling but then again that was a track car that was also sort of made for the road whereas this is just a road car and uh, yeah mightily impressive as a result of its handling agility lack of weight and uh, yeah the fact that it's lack of weight means it can make the most of that horsepower and torque because as you saw going up the uphill section on the uh, this side of the motorway it was holding 272 mile an hour which like I said, not many cars can hold speed going up that uphill section. So, uh, yeah, mightily impressed by it. And, uh, yeah, easily one of the best cars on this uh, series, even if it's not quite the quickest. But nonetheless, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.